Before we can do a surgery to treat a person's seizures, we need to know precisely where those seizures come from in the brain. We first try to figure this out non-invasively through a combination of tests like EEGs, MRIs, and nuclear medicine studies. If these fail to pinpoint the source of someone's seizures or contradict one another, we often recommend intracranial monitoring. Intracranial monitoring is a surgery where we place electrodes inside the skull, in or on the brain, to map someone's seizures with very high resolution. Here at Brigham and Women's Hospital, we typically do intracranial monitoring using a minimally invasive surgery called stereoelectroencephalography, or stereo EEG. The goal of stereo EEG is to place about 10 thin wires deep into the brain to listen to areas of the brain we can't listen to with regular scalp EEG. Scalp EEG, the first test we use to diagnose epilepsy, is incredibly useful, but often can't listen to the whole brain, since signals from the brain are muffled by the skull and scalp. Stereo EEG, on the other hand, places electrodes directly inside the parts of the brain generating seizures, so there's no loss of signal from distance or other tissue. A good analogy is like trying to figure out what's going on in a football game by listening to the roar of a crowd outside an arena versus walking inside and talking to the players. The day of surgery, the patient will arrive at the hospital and go under general anesthesia. We then place a rigid metal frame to the patient's head to make sure it's very stable. Using a surgical robot, we then make small holes, each about as thick as a grain of rice, which lets us carefully slip the small stereo EEG electrodes into the brain. Each electrode is 0.8 millimeters in diameter, or 1 30th of an inch, thinner than a piece of angel hair pasta. These are secured in place and almost no hair is shaved in the process. When we're done, we wake the patient up and connect them to our epilepsy monitoring equipment so we can pinpoint precisely where their seizures come from. This typically takes a few days. After we've recorded the person's seizures, we remove the electrodes in a quick procedure in the operating room, and the patient can go home. We then use the information we learn from this surgery to plan the next, which may be a surgery to remove the seizure focus, a laser ablation, or neuromodulation, like deep brain stimulation or vagus nerve stimulation.